I mean, where can we start with a guy like Brandon Martin? I mean, he's a guy that has continued to rise up amongst the nation's top recruits. 6'4", 215 pounds, running a verified 4'3", 740. When I talked to him last, he had about 22 touchdowns, still with the game to go, still the playoffs uh, to continue to put, you know, add his stats. He's had games where he's been out at, at halftime. You know, and Deion's continuing to try to save him and make sure he's free of injury. So Brandon Martin, I mean, he's one of my favorite athletes in the country. We've seen this guy continue to grow into the man that he's becoming out there on the field. Brandon Martin, no doubt about it now, in my mind, he's got the next round. Brandon Martin has had the opportunity to be around guys like Patrick Peterson, Marshawn Lynch. Um, and that's not to name drop, but that's just to show you that, you know, these people recognize his talent and are trying to groom him and position him to be uh, the next, you know, big playmaker that, that puts up uh, gaudy numbers uh, on Saturdays and, and hopefully position himself for the opportunity to play on Sundays. But it's got a lot of work that's got to be put in in between time, and that's a young man who's going to put in the work. We've seen him when he was a skinny kid, yes. uh, and I now he's worked so hard to get, you know, to put on some weight by not sacrificing his speed, getting stronger with that as well. Yeah. I mean, this guy, I've seen him, he, he recognized what the defense is doing, he adjusted his routes accordingly, he get him the ball, he's he making a play. makes plays. Yes. That's one thing that I really love about his game. I know that's going to translate next level for a guy like Brandon. Let's start off with wide receiver Brandon Martin. Now, Brandon Martin is a guy that transferred into prime prep out of Dallas. He's got great measurables, wonderful athleticism and range, but he's a guy that hasn't played a lot of football, so he's still learning the position. Kind of reminds me of Marquez North, who's now at the University of Tennessee, just not far along in terms of overall development, but I think he will be at some point, and I would expect to see his recruitment really start to significantly heat up throughout the remainder of his senior year leading into signing day. So he's right there on the cusp. 